Imagine being able to buy fuel for your vehicle for just $2 a gallon. It's possible with a natural gas conversion. And if you fill up at home, the cost is even less. Suzanne Stratford explains how it works. We are now operating on natural gas at $2 a gallon. With petroleum costs where they are today, many people are looking for alternatives and natural gas is that alternative. CNG1 is a new company in Cleveland. They've not only designed a natural gas conversion system to fit any vehicle, they also install it. When you're running on natural gas, you're running on a naturally produced product that's produced right here in the United States, and you can buy it for $2 per gallon versus the cost for petroleum fuels, which is per currently over $4. One of the drawbacks for natural gas conversions has been the refueling factor. The first year we are planning to have at least four fueling stations. One of them would be in Cleveland Heights. The other one would be uh, uh, hopefully in Boston Heights. And maybe one will be in Euclid. And uh, we do have studies, uh, ongoing studies, to see where there will be uh, need and demand. With this system, there will be the option to refuel at home. The difference is, instead of three minutes to fill your tank, you would fill it overnight. But then your cost would be a mere one dollar per gallon. Conversion is roughly a one-day, two-man process. Nationally, the price for the average conversion is between eight and twelve thousand dollars. Our manufacturer's suggested price on this is fifty-nine ninety-five. The vehicle uh, has a dual system in it, you push a switch to run on natural gas. If you run out of natural gas, you're never out of fuel. You push the switch again, and you're back running on petroleum fuel again. If you'd like a new car that runs on natural gas, Honda has a Civic that does just that. Vehicle for 2012 will be all new. Basically, for roughly $12, you can drive 250 miles in this car. In 2009, we sent $500 billion to foreign countries for, for oil, and we could replace a good portion of that by using natural gas in our vehicles. In Cleveland, Suzanne Stratford, Fox 8 News.